Listen up, guys. I got something very serious and important to say. No, seriously, pay attention to this. Do you want to be a hero? Do you want to change the world? Do you want to tackle boredom straight in the face and just sucker punch it? Well, listen to me because I have the solution. We can get rid of boredom fast and free. Thanks to my sponsors at Mobile Strike, we can finally stop boredom at its core and supplement it with something really fun to do for absolutely free. Mobile Strike is a free iOS and Android game where you can become an action hero by defending your territory. You can build a customizable base, test your troops, and arm your forces with amazing tech and weaponry. Even amazing heroes like Arnold Schwarzenegger is a mobile strike legend who would really like to see you test your skills on the battlefield. I have my own mobile strike profile, my username on the game is CFC Rewind, so you can actually say hi to me on the mobile strike chat and even talk with other mobile strike users. There is plenty of customizable features and awesome ways to play the game. You can easily download this game by clicking the link below. If you want to support this channel and have fun playing a free game, please click that link below. It would honestly support me and give you something fun to do. So download Mobile Strike now. It's just a click away. <laughs> What's up everyone, I'm your host Animation Rewind and if you're new to this series, be sure to check out the older content, but if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. Tonight's battle was animated by Nin10, so if you enjoy what you see, head on over to his channel and subscribe. Speaking of tonight's battle, we have a fight between the pun-loving older siblings Yang and Sans. With all this being said, let's introduce Cartoon Fight Club's 155th Round of Fighters. Yang is known for many things. She is a very successful student at Beacon Academy, a skilled huntress in training, an older sister, a lover of puns, and a proud member of Team Ruby. She has many goals in her life. Some include finding her missing mother, protecting her world from dangerous grim creatures, looking out for her sister, and to become a fully trained huntress. Yang's semblance is fire. Because of this, she uses bullets and flames against her enemy. It also alludes to why she can easily get hot-headed during battles and how her eyes change from purple to red when she's angry. Her most iconic weapon is her Ember Celica. These shotgun gauntlets hold 12 shot rounds of both orange long-range shells and red explosive rounds of fire. She can use these blasts to either increase her speed and boost of her jumps or the conventional range blast attack. Yang is also known for her iconic punching. Punching things is her main style of combat. Her weapon is designed around her punching technique and it allows for a very upfront brawler way of approaching your foes. During the heat of battle, Yang will get a physical boost with each hit or strike she takes and survives from. If the attacks don't knock her out, she can absorb that force and use it for her own power. Anger and damage intake is also one of the factors that play into her aura. With her aura, she can heal minor wounds and block attacks. Yang does have her fair share of weaknesses. She isn't the best fighter when going up against foes who are skilled with kicking, and while she is powered through anger, sometimes her short temper can actually be a distraction and a path to bad decisions during a fight. Yang also has plenty of constraints and a defined limit to her aura's absorbing capability. If she's low on energy and is tempered the wrong way, she can easily become a vulnerable target of battle manipulation. Overall, Yang is a proud member of Team Ruby, she has a fire semblance, and is a very skilled puncher and pun master. Next up is Sans. Sans is a soul-grabbing telekinetic skeleton who can fire gaster blasts at his foes. If you want to learn more info about him, click this annotation because we discussed this dude like a bajillion times. So let's not waste anyone's time who already knows the guy and get straight into the fight. This battle's going to take place on Earth with no prep. Let the battle begin. <laughs>
Now, I know I sound like a chronic e-beggar at this point, but seriously, if you download the free iOS and Android Mobile Strike app, you would most definitely be supporting this channel in one of the most efficient ways possible. Like to give you an example, just by downloading this free app, you could potentially support me more than the highest type of pledge I have on Patreon. Like, it's that helpful. So please, if you care about this channel and are interested in playing a free fun game, click that link below. It would only help me if you use that link. But let's get back on topic and talk Yang versus Sans. And I can't forget to give a huge shout out to the battle animator, Nin10. If you enjoyed what you saw, head on over to his channel and subscribe, and let's discuss why Sans beats Yang. The main reason why Sans won is because he's an elite pun master compared to Yang. Yang's puns are just not punny enough to keep up with Sans bone crushing puns. Now I'm only pulling your leg, puns have little to do with who wins. And if you think about it, their love of puns would probably cause them to be friends midway through the battle if they were to actually meet in a canon event. But in this situation, they are forced to fight. And here's why Sans would end up as the victor. The biggest questions to consider in this battle are these two in specific. One, how is Yang's semblance powered up? And two, who can keep their cool and stay focused in the heat of a long thought out battle? Yang Semblance is powered by staying conscious and aware after being hit from physical attacks. Which means, when Yang is hit with a Gaster Blaster, she really wouldn't have any way of using that blast to power herself up. The Gaster Blasts attack the soul which means Yang would take punishment and she would not be able to benefit from it. It's a lose-lose. It's also worth noting that unless Yang gets really lucky, she's going to have a real tough time trying to land one good hit on Sans. When you factor out luck in a battle like this and assuming that both characters are fighting at their A game and at their best, which would cancel luck out anyway, Yang is nowhere near fast enough to keep up with Sans, especially with Sans's teleportation. Moving on to the second question, who can keep their cool and stay focused in the heat of battle? This should be an easy one to answer as Sans would most certainly be able to stay relaxed and stay focused, while Yang on the other hand would get ticked off and act out of raw emotion instead of tactical thinking. Take for example Yang's battle with Neo. Because Neo was able to tick Yang off and get her off guard, Yang ended up losing that fight. Sans is able to keep his cool when facing foes whom he knowed killed his own brother. I'm pretty sure he can keep his cool when facing a trigger happy blondie. Making the winner of this battle, Sans. Now if you want to see all four members of Team Ruby take on the likes of Sans, Papyrus, Undyne, and Asgore, all you gotta do is like this video for a 4 on 4 sudden death. If this video gets 15,000 likes, there will be a sudden death. Also, don't forget to comment down your own ideas and stay tuned because the next fighters are going to be revealed on the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I came here to teach you not to turn your back on people you're supposed to care for, so you better listen. Oh.